promised that we were going to connect with our friends, so let's do that right now. Hi, yeah, good morning. Right. Hi, morning. Hi, good morning. Hi, morning. Good morning. Online, we have uh, Deepak Glal with us, and he's one of the founders of the Share Goodness organization. Welcome, Deepak. Morning, Charlotte. Morning, Sharon. How are you all doing? We're good, we're good, and uh, actually excited to hear about uh, what Share Goodness has in store this time around. I understand that there's a blood drive that will be happening on Saturday. Yeah, that's correct. It's this Saturday at Presentation College in San Fernando mm -hmm. between 9 and 4 p.m. Excellent. Now, just, you know, um, a lot of people always hear about blood drives and uh, come, you know, thinking, why should I give blood? Why should I, you know, go out of my way to get a little of and give blood? Why? <laughs> I think a lot of people well, are apprehensive, you know, they, they, yeah, you've yeah. never done it before. They're a little bit scared in the beginning. I mean, in terms of in terms of pain, the most you will feel is a little pinch. In terms of the the needle actually going into your vein. That's like what the doctor used to tell me with the ants bite. The doctor said it was probably about two or three. Yeah. Years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I mean, one of the main reasons to do it is I mean, when you have to have surgery or if someone has an accident, there's always loss of blood, and that mm -hmm. is one of the main reasons we need blood. Mm -hmm. So the blood bank has reserves in place so when hospitals require blood they get it from there right. but the main problem we're facing right now is trend that has less than one two the supply of blood it should have right, right. so that is why you know we're trying to promote a lot of awareness with blood giving and get people accustomed to the concept familiar because i mean it's something we all can help with and we, we all have the power to do it you know and, and i mean it's, it's, something a, to give life. it's alarming figures because think about it less than one third of what we really should have two. and i mean look at the incidents yeah. uh, accidents here in Trinidad and Tobago you know, it is uh, very, very alarming. Now, I remember a couple months ago, you, you all were with us on the program, and there was another blood drive, and I believe that one was very successful as well, right? Was it, it was indeed, yes. Um, mm -hmm. We had that one last year at the end of October mm -hmm. in Presentation College, Shagorn at that time. Mm -hmm. And we, well, through, through our efforts, we managed to get 40 pints of blood, and 34 of those 40 were from first-time donors, which mm -hmm. is wow. more astonishing to us. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we really felt um, a, a feeling of success when that happened. You know, because that was the whole drive to get people more aware, get a lot of first time people out, expose them to the concept, and you know, hopefully get regular donations from them. All right. Uh, they, they tell me, who can give blood? Who you yeah. have to be mm -hmm. at least 17 with parental consent, or once you're 18 years old, you can give blood. Mm -hmm. Your weight must be minimum 110 pounds. Mm -hmm. Those, that's the basic, basic information. But on the day, what the um, how the how the procedure is, is the blood bank actually takes um like one drop of your blood and you know they do test they test your blood pressure oh, they test okay. the iron mm -hmm. content and they'll actually you know um be able to determine if you'll be able to give blood on the day okay and there's an interview as well after that that phase so do you need to prepare or you know prepare your body prepare yourself before you give blood or do you, uh, certain things you should eat certain things you should not eat drink etc well this may sound kind of funny but one of the um the nurses tell me you know eat a lot of baji the week <laughs> before the blood drive because right. baji gives you a lot of iron in your blood. Right. Okay. So it's, it's basically to eat healthy, eat properly the week before to prepare your body for it. That's oh. the main thing. You know, eat a good breakfast before you come to give blood. If, if lunch time has passed, you eat um, a good lunch. Mm -hmm. Those kind of things. All right. So friends, it's very easy. It is uh, effortless. It does not hurt at all. It's not painful. And then as we can just told us, and I'm kind of glad to hear a little bit relieved too that yeah. when you go, they're going to take yeah. a drop of your blood and actually test it. Good. All right, so they tested, yeah, they do their test for that. But um, one of the one of the main things is even if you don't want to give, you can just get familiar with the process. So you know, you can pass right. on the information to a friend, family, you know. So you come and you, you know, you go through the little test. You don't do the full giving of a pint, mm -hmm. but at least you know you'll you'll be a little more educated and you can spread the awareness. Like you say, you actually attended a blood drive. You know what it's about. Yeah, yeah. That that is what we're looking for to promote awareness. Mm -hmm. And you know, I always say that people, you really don't know until you're in a situation. And if it yeah. were one of us and we needed the blood for ourselves, of our family member, we would want any and everybody to help us out. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, that's exactly what we want to do here, friends, on the morning town, all right, uh, on Sankey 1061. Now, uh, very briefly, Deepa, before we get back to the details of the blood drive, uh, just tell us in a couple lines again, what, share goodness, apart from this blood drive, I know you all, it's a movement. Uh, what are some of the other initiatives that you all, or what are you all encouraging people to do? What is the mission statement for the organization? Well, the mission statement of the organization is to give, make giving and sharing easier. Mm -hmm. That is the whole mission, and we do that by sh asking people to share their time, their talent, and their things. We want to become 
the, the foremost charitable network, not an organization as such, but a network. Because mm -hmm. in Trinidad, there are a lot of established organizations, but some people don't know about them. So what we want to do is to, to form that missing link between the people who want the help and the people who need the help. Right. So basically, they come to us, and then we familiar, we are the ones who are familiar with all the other organizations. We can channel them through those different avenues to not only give blood, but to help the environment, they can help animals, they can help children's homes, right. all these different things. Any act of business, that is what we are supporting. Yeah, like the liaison between, between Exactly, those. the yes. middlemen, if you want to call it that. Yeah, excellent. All right, so remember the blood drive is happening this Saturday, and it's from 9 to 4 p.m., so people can come at any time, right? Once it's between 9 yeah, and 4? Yeah, you can drop in anytime between 9 and 4. If you if you want to come, um, I know a lot of people have hectic schedules, you could you could send us an email at mail at sharegoodness.org and then tell us what hour you want to come so we can kind of fast track the process for you. Okay. Or you can even give us a call on 746-6061 or 788-4293. All right, all right. Okay, and it's happening at Presentation College at San Fernando. San Fernando, that's yeah, correct. Right. All right, all right, Deepak, so we want to thank you so much for sharing with us and uh, we look forward to you know, there's a set of Saturday, and uh, hopefully we're going to be down there as well. Alright, that's great. Well, hope to see you all there, and thanks again for your help. Alright, no problem at all. You have a great day. Alright, same to you. Take care. Alright, bye-bye. Alright, our friends have checked goodness, and what we did, we posted their page for you on the Facebook page. Yes, you can be sure to check it out. Excellent initiative that they're doing, and we would really, really like all of you all to come out, because I keep saying, you know, if it were me, or if it were somebody in our family, we would want all the help that we can get. So yes. this is our, our opportunity. And for so share goodness, uh, oh. sharing time, talent, and things. Yes. Mm -hmm. Middleman, so to speak. All right. So thank All you, right. Deepa.